You asked the question of whether the ills of our healthcare system reflect our society. Definitely, yes. When you compare the, for example, the American healthcare system with the Canadian healthcare system, you see a reflection of two different kinds of society with different values. The Canadians uh, believe in cooperation and they believe that their society has a responsibility for the welfare of the individual. We don't believe in equality as much as we believe in opportunity. The inequality of distribution of wealth is not important if it reflects the fact that some people work hard and deserve to get what they've earned. Health care can't be dealt with that way because anybody can get sick, whether they're rich or poor, and it can be a disaster. It can destroy your life, destroy destroy your family, destroy your resources, uh, take everything away from you. The healthcare system does in part reflect the values of this community or perhaps we might almost say non-community, that is the lack of concern of each for the other. We are an individualistic, commercially oriented culture. One president said the business of America is business. Uh, and if you go back to American history, we were individualist Thomas Jefferson, the less government is better government. So you've got this long historical thread that makes us where we are. The reason that uh, this show is being produced and I'm sitting here being interviewed is, you know, a, a basic assumption that the way our healthcare system is, is not a reflection of society's values, that this is not the healthcare system that society wants. It's one that is a result of history, political obstacles, greed is the one that we've gotten now. And I think there are a lot of people very eager uh, and who think they can improve it. And so better reflect society's values. I don't believe that Americans are born as greedy cowboys who don't care about the community and whose aim in life is to be richer than anyone else. That happens to many Americans because they're bathed in that ideology. We don't have education that's guaranteed as far as you can go. We don't have health care that is guaranteed. We don't have a secure old age. So the kinds of things that other countries do, we're left kind of naked. We're left vulnerable. And I think that that drives a lot of Americans to think that they cannot accumulate too much. That one serious illness, one tuition check for Harvard, uh, old age, uh, one broken hip could wipe them out. And so they've just got to stash away as much as they possibly can. They not only want to stash away as much as they can from themselves, but for their children and their grandchildren too. It looks like just unbridled greed, but I think it's partly something else too. I think for some people it is unbridled greed, uh, but I think for many people it's fear. <laughs>